greet you in the master's name of Jesus. We thank God for you, you, and you being with us today. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Everybody, everybody ought to praise the Lord. Amen. We're giving honor to glory and glory to God for the things that he has done. Great is the Lord and he's worthy to be praised. Thank you all for being with us today. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Happy birthday. Amen. Uh, Minister uh, Pamela Eubanks, God bless you. Woman of God, her birthday was a couple of days ago. Amen. Sister Alexis, amen. Birthday was, is today. Well, that was, it can it was in today. Amen. And so we say thank you, God, for you. Amen. And we thank God for all the birthdays and everybody's, amen, hallelujah, day that they were born here in this world. Amen. In the name of Jesus. I got to dive right in because it's a lot to this. Hallelujah. Amen. Ephesians 4, because there could literally be a church called Ephesians 4. It's beyond just one message. It's beyond a series. It's beyond a book. Amen. Hallelujah. It's beyond a seminar. Amen. You might have a seminary called Ephesians 4. Hallelujah. Amen. It would be a good. I might go. I might enlist myself. I might join that with myself. Amen. Because it's it's exhaustive. The book of Ephesians itself. But when you get to the to the close of it, the fourth chapter, amen, and the fifth, amen, hallelujah. I mean, it's just so good. It's just so many good nuggets, amen, down in here. And so uh, we're going to talk on the subject today, the office, the office, amen. How this, how God set this thing up, amen, for the church and for us as believers. Uh, uh, it's not really, it's good for Sunday morning as well, but God gave me this for prayer. Amen. And so as we prepare our hearts and mind for prayer, amen, I'm going to try to swim. Amen. I might snorkel. Amen. I might start scuba diving and I just might go deep sea diving. Hallelujah. Because this is one to go deep sea diving on. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So if I slip up and, and, and go deep sea diving, amen. Hallelujah. Then there's some people in the islands, these guys and some of the ladies, I've seen mostly men do this, but I'm not, it's not gendered. Hallelujah. But they deep dive and they and they, they they hold their breath and go down and get different crabs and different types of fish down on the bottom of the ocean. Amen. And they study how they can do that without getting what's called the bins. Amen. And 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 dying. Amen. Hallelujah. But these guys can just drop. Amen. Down there and get those uh, nuggets from down on the bottom of the sea. Amen. How to, without any kind of scuba gear or anything. So, it, but in any case, I might just do that right in the middle of this. Amen. Whole thing here we call noonday prayer. Hallelujah. Amen. So, uh, Paul, the apostle of God, sent to preach the gospel, the resurrection of Jesus Christ to the Gentiles. Amen. How it was uh, imprisoned for his. Amen. Doing just what God told him to do. And so when we see in the book of Ephesians, the fourth chapter, amen, hallelujah. I'm going to dive right in if y'all don't mind today. Hallelujah. Amen. Giving on and praise to everybody. We love you in Jesus name. Hallelujah. But we're going to talk about the office and how God has set up his little office. Y'all office workers, you know. Amen. Everything is planned and meals are planned and where the food is and where the meeting rooms are. And amen. You know, you know how it's broken down. Amen. So that you can better function for the organization and for the company. You know, the rules and regulations of the organization. Amen. Some some organizations, most organizations have orientation. So you so you have an understanding. This is what we do here at this office amen this is how we do this Be, watch this don't stay near there don't talk to this person amen but talk to them because they really know what they're doing he the boss but she know what she's doing ask her she knows how to do it better amen hallelujah so the interworking and interfunctioning amen of the office how to, of god himself and how he has designed everything for us he loves us so much that he wants us to have the best and so he gave us the best. He gave us himself in John 1. 
in the beginning was the word the word was with god the word was god the word became flesh and dwelt among us and we beheld his glory the only we got another father full of grace and truth hallelujah so over here in the fourth chapter the first verse it says i paul uh, Paul, who's, who's talking here, the prisoner of the Lord, because he's in jail for doing God's will. Amen. A lot of our circumstances, we say, well, Lord, why am I going through? Well, a lot of that is for his will, for his divine will and purpose. Amen. Hallelujah. To be established and done in your life. He told Moses, I put you in the wilderness to prove you. So a lot of our things, that's just the devil. No, a lot of that is not the attack of the devil. Amen. It's to fulfill the will of God in your life, to know your place and purpose. Amen. In this world. Amen. Hallelujah. And so whatever God say, amen, though you slay me, Job said, yet will I trust him. Jesus said on the cross, Lord, forgive them. Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So we don't understand it. Amen. But we'll understand it better by and by. But go through. Amen. Doing hardness as a good show, soldier. Amen. Hallelujah. And what you go through, others are watching what you go through. Amen. And they seeing God working down on the inside of you. So he gets the glory. Amen. He gets the honor and praise. So he's a prisoner doing God's work. Amen. He beseech you that you walk worthy in vocation wherewith you've been. You are called. Amen. Hallelujah. You work, walk worthy in the job amen or the calling god has given to you that you are called to with all loneliness and meekness and long suffering for bearing one another in love hallelujah thank you jesus and so uh with all respect with all humbleness knowing amen honoring the one who called you and this is a love for god so loved the word that he gave his only begotten son the love god loved this world jesus loved this world that he gave his life Amen. Hallelujah. Endeavoring to keep the unity of the spirit in the bond of peace. Uh, the unity only comes through peace. Or unity only comes to love. Amen. The unity only comes through God. God is not the author of confusion. Amen. We have 27 religions on and, and, and 15 different churches. Amen. I kind of, and, and so that's because that's man divided. Hallelujah. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And so uh, 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 that's that's man being divided among himself. Amen. God is not divided. Amen. God is not divided amongst himself. Excuse me. Amen. Hallelujah. The house of God. But it's only one God. We're going to get into that in a second. Amen. Hallelujah. And so we're endeavoring to keep the unity of the spirit in the bond of peace. There is one body. There's one spirit. Even if you are called in, in one hope of your calling, one Lord, I told you I'm swimming, in one faith, one baptism, I'm trying to swim. Amen. I keep stopping. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. So there's only one. Amen. One church. There's one leader of the church. Hallelujah. Amen. Listen to me, saints. There's only one church. A pastor, I, 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 holy, sanctified, and, and the church of the, and, and I see all these different names. Yes, amen. Yes, that's what God gave the Adam, the, the, the authority to name things. Ah, Jesus, hallelujah. Lord, I'm helping somebody today. He gives them the, amen, hallelujah, the, the authority to name different things. And so we, we, we are proficient in calling something, something. Hallelujah. We have to. Give it a name. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Help me, Jesus. Hallelujah. And so, amen. And, and if we can't, uh, Psalms 45 said we name things after ourselves. Those that are uh, uh, egotistical. Amen. We name things after ourselves. You'll see people naming places and hallelujah things after themselves even our children jesus help me hallelujah if there's a junior in the house god bless you uh, you're sucking to none hallelujah amen in the name of jesus you have your own road to travel amen in the name of jesus they even, might even call you junior hallelujah but you're not lesser hallelujah god made you for this divine time and will and purpose and i'm not knocking anybody named junior amen i'm not knocking any parent that named them after themselves but i'm just saying hey you, we name things that's what we do as as that's a divine amen assignment given to adam amen given to man to name things hallelujah but even though we name it god made it god created it hallelujah amen hallelujah putting a name on it don't mean you made it amen 
how that's biology. Don't don't make me start. Amen. Talking about Amen. How God fashioned and made things by His hand. Amen. Breathed into man the man the breath of life, and man became a living soul. All right. Endeavoring to keep the unity of the spirit in the bond of peace. There is one body, one spirit. Even as you are called into one hope of your calling, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is above all and through all and in you all. One God, one person in charge of this. What about Jesus? Hallelujah. Thank you. I'm going to get to that in a second. What about the spirit of God? Well, that Holy Ghost, amen, didn't come. Amen. Wasn't originated in the upper room. I, I want to, you know, amen. Don't get it twisted. Amen. In, in, in Genesis, it said the, the spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. Amen. Hallelujah. That was the Holy Spirit of God. Amen. Moses, when he gathered the elders together, amen. Hallelujah. And the Bible began, said the spirit fell upon them and they began to prophesy. So before Pentecost, amen, there was an upper room, amen, experience with Moses when he gathered the, the elders together, hallelujah, thank you Jesus, and so, and so uh, we we need to understand that God worked by his divine power and will, not by, amen our description or interpretation or perception of who he is, that's what you have here on earth, is man's understanding and wisdom and, and perception as to what things are, but God is not divided, God is not separated from himself when he could swear by none other because there was no <laughs> Jesus help me there was nobody else there hallelujah he swore by himself hallelujah. there was nobody else to swear to who is like the Lord nobody hallelujah thank you Jesus hallelujah hallelujah thank you Jesus there's nothing else Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. There's nothing else there. Hallelujah. But nonsense in the in the in the similitude. Amen. Hallelujah. And the wisdom of the, the, the wisdom of man rather than the power of God, Paul says over there in Corinth. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So but to unknown every one of us is giving grace according to the measure of the gift of Christ. Christ as a gift. He is our gift. Amen. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believe in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Man, I'm telling you, this is a seminar, but amen. I'm going to try to get through this in the next 10 minutes. Y'all pray for pastor. Amen. Hallelujah. Now he that, whenever you see parentheses, there's an adjustment to the original text. Amen. So that's why a lot of people don't believe in reading what's in the parentheses. Amen. But you don't know if, if you haven't studied, you don't know if it was added later. Amen. It was part that was discovered later or there was a, a understanding or interpretation that was added less later. That's not I'm not going to. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Get into all that. But uh, so but I'm going to read it now that uh, now that he ascended. What is it? But that he also descended first into the lower parts of the earth. And he that descended is the same also to he that ascended up far above the heavens that he may fulfill all things. Amen. Hallelujah. He went there. It's, others went there and stayed there. Hallelujah. But he's the first begotten of the grave because, amen, he woke himself. He got himself out. Amen. He had all power and authority to do so. Amen. And so when he rose, amen, our key verse and the verse that we're using today for the officers of the office. Amen. These are the officers of the offices, uh, office that, that Christ have set up. Amen. To stand in the stead of Christ as he goes back to heaven. Amen. Hallelujah. He led the captivity captive and he gave gifts unto men and he gave some apostles. Amen. Hallelujah. Some prophets, some evangelists, some pastors and teachers. Amen. And let's, I'm going to swim on this because uh, we can go deeper into it. Amen. Apostles one sent. Amen. The, the defender of the faith, the organizers, the amen, those that, that, that keep the organization and, and the foundation of God, the apologist. Amen. They, 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 they break this thing down. They lead pastors and leaders and bishops and amen, churches and organizations. Amen. As the vessel of God and can lead nobody, but yet sent by God to do the will of God, to go into a region to go into an area hallelujah thank you jesus hallelujah hallelujah and some prophets amen thus saith the lord amen to hear god and to do what god says amen to see things amen and to have a perspective on things a divine perspective on things hallelujah as the woman at the world well said i perceive that thou art a prophet you can't perceive and i'm prophesying how are you going to perceive something that's just like man you're going to say in the natural amen that paul rebuked the woman and said truly these are man men of god amen 
Amen. These are men of God. Why did Paul rebuke her? Why you got to define it in, in your humanity, what God is doing, amen, in his divineness. Hallelujah. Amen. It's not divine. This is not explained by you. Amen. You don't validate this. God don't need you to validate him. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. So we need to just do what he said. Amen. Hallelujah. So the prophet is sent from God to speak whatever God says. All of the positions, anybody with the spirit of God can, amen, uh, can exhibit. Amen. Any of the fivefold. So the apostles can preach. Amen. The pastors. Amen. Can teach. Hallelujah. The evangelists can prophesy. Amen. Don't limit God. Amen. I believe you. You have the gift of evangelists. Why are you? Why are you teaching? No, no. Leave them alone. Hallelujah. Let them evangelize. Let them teach. Hallelujah. Because that's what needs to be done. Let God do what he do. He does the perfect work. Amen. Hallelujah. Pastors is the nurturers and the, the builders of God's word and laid as a foundation. Amen. Leads God people. They're the shepherds. They lead them beside the still waters. They restore the soul. Amen. I told them, uh, you know, when I was growing up, I had adults. Amen. That, that would send you away. Amen. Hallelujah. Go. If you act up, go send. Go. Go tell your mother what you did. I told you about Miss Murray. Miss Murray say, amen. Go tell Mother Fields. I sent you home and, and tell her why I sent you. I'm like, mm, I don't know. <clears throat> anyway, so 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 that's what a parent does. Uh, uh, somebody else's child, they'll say, go to your parents. To your child, you'll say, come here. Amen. Because you want to nurture, you want to explain. That's what a pastor is. Amen. Hallelujah. And so and, and likewise, a teacher. Teachers break down things so everybody can understand it. A teacher brings understanding. Amen. You have to get the lesson. You have to get the text. A preacher, amen, a pastor can preach, amen, but he don't have to explain everything. Hallelujah, amen, or she don't have to explain everything. But that teacher sits down at Sunday school. That teacher sits down with their family, amen, and breaks down God's word where everybody understands what's going on. Amen, hallelujah. It's not the hype in the service in the church. So everyone has positions in the church that Christ has set up amen hallelujah so that we may have divine order here on earth that we may have divine order hallelujah in our homes we can have divine orders on our job at the office the office can work in your office the office can work in your home and in your community hallelujah thank you jesus hallelujah amen god's divine order god's office amen works everywhere hallelujah wherever you place it Amen. How do y'all ever had a, a store and a storefront or somebody, amen, that had a, a bad business and then some great chain came in from from a national chain came in. So, oh, man, I can't wait till they get there. You know, they're going to put that over there. You go. Oh, man, I can't wait. I'm going to go over there. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So when when God's office go into the office, hallelujah, it changes everything. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. And so he gave it for the perfecting of the saints. Preach us, all y'all officers of the church, clergy, listen, listen, he gave all of us, he didn't give them for us, he gave us for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of who we serving, our boss, Jesus, mm, 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 mm. Lord Jesus. And we turned, I said we, we turned and made everything up the, about perfecting the clergy, the work for the clergy and the edifying of the clergy. I got the best pastor in the world. Lord, my church is the best church since Jesus told Peter. Upon this rock, I'll build my church and the gates of hell shall not. Lord, we got the best church over here. Come on over here. Hey, we got everything that you need. We're perfect people over here. Hey, we got stuff for your kids, your grandma, nook, nook, pookie. We got everything that you need over here. Hey, come on over here to perfect the church. We're, we're just perfect. Hallelujah. Amen. That's a lie from the devil. We are born in sin, shaped in iniquity, come short of the glory of God. Amen. And we put an enslave. Jesus, I'm going to lose some people right here. And enslave God's people. Hallelujah. Under the titles and offices that's written right here in the 11th verse. When everything in that 11th verse is for the 12th verse. The perfecting of the saints, the work of the ministry, the edifying of the body of Christ. Hallelujah. That's what we're here for. We're here for them. They're not here for us. 
We're here to bring them to Christ. We're here to teach them and to preach to them, to prophesy, to evangelize, to pastor them, to lead them. We're sent to lead them back to God. We're sent to lead them back to God. That's what I'm, you're sent. One sent. You're sent to lead the world back to God. Not to set up tithing. Not to set up. Jesus, help me. Hallelujah. Amen. Who going to come over and change my trash? And and who going to come over to my house and do this and do the, and, and, and enslave God's people? Now, if they agree to do it and it's in your contract or your whatever, I, I don't have no say on what y'all do at y'all church. I'm just saying what the scripture means. <laughs> Jesus, help me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Until we all come into the unity of the faith and the knowledge of the Son of God unto a perfect man, unto the measure of the statue of the fullness, the way it's supposed to be. The way Christ is supposed to, supposed to be represented. Now we la I talked about it all the time. Different cartoons and different shows that depict Christ in an unflattering, unflattering way. It, it, it bothers me to a great deal. But but we in the church do the exact same thing. We represent him in the wrong way. We project him in the wrong way. And so all these positions that are supposed to be in the church are supposed to be building people to a crescendo, which is Christ himself. Unto a perfect man, unto the measure of the statue of the fullness. Somebody say fullness. Hallelujah. The fullness of Christ. What did, what did Christ do? Hmm. So we preach. We pastor. We, are, we, we, we work until, amen, they get, they get Jesus and they get full of Christ. And start exhibiting Jesus, Lord help me, exhibiting the attributes of Jesus Christ. Wouldn't that be something if the members of the church not only say they was Christ-like, what would the church be like if the members of the church was Christ-like? What would Jesus' church be like if the members of the church exhibited the attributes of Jesus himself. I know I, I know I got time. I'll let that marinate for a second. What an awesome, powerful church we would have. I believe that's the church Jesus was talking about when he talked to Peter and said, upon this rock, I shall build my church. And the gates of hell should not prevail. You ever had siblings and you put three cubes of, of cheese on one plate and three cubes on the other plate. Amen. You turn around. Hallelujah. Amen. One got three. The other one got two. And the other one with two crying. Now, every parent in here already automatically know what happened. Every parent listening to me. Some of y'all are not parents. You don't know what that mean. Hallelujah. You put three cubes of cheese on one plate. Let's do some algebra. And you put three cubes of cheese on the other child's plate. You turn around. How, the one still got three cubes on it. And the other one has two. And they cry. And you know exactly why. If you ask what happened. One can talk. They both can't talk. Because one cried and the other one got their mouth full. That's why they can't answer the question. Hallelujah. Thank you Jesus. And so we. As the as the leaders of the church and have been placed to build the people of the church, we've been we've been we've been snatching what belongs to them. We've been taking what belongs to them, and they have not been built in the fullness of Christ. What a powerful preacher! Lord, he can preach. Lord, she can preach, and they exhibit the signs and wonders. But nobody in the church is. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, Friday, we're supposed to be going out strong. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. That henceforth, we should be no more children. The 14th verse, tossed to and fro everywhere, carried about with every wind and doctrine by the slight of men and cunning craftiness, whereby they lie in wait to deceive. Where they lie in wait to deceive? Out in the world. Where they're coming to get what they need to be edified, to be built up so that they can face this world and conquer it in the house of God.
And so when they go out, they're being slaughtered out in the streets because they don't have the tools they need in the church. Lord, help me today. But speaking the truth in love, which I'm doing to you right now, may grow up into him in all things. I'm trying to move ahead, y'all. Which, which even Christ in all things, which it, which is which is the head, even Christ. I'm sorry, I'm scrolling while I'm talking. Hallelujah. From whom the whole body fitly drawn together and compacted by that which every joint supplies, according to the effectual working in the measure of every part that maketh increase of the body unto the edifying of itself in love. With love, with the power of God, there's nothing that we can't obtain and conquer. Amen. Effects, effectual. It works. This concept, this office, we have an office meeting today, y'all. Anybody come in late? Amen. We have an office meeting. Hallelujah. Amen. The boss called in uh, everybody, the, the senior staff, amen, into the office. Amen. And brought the junior staff in with and everybody, every employee in with them. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This I say, therefore, testify and testify in the Lord that ye should henceforth know, uh, walk not as the other Gentiles walk. In the vanity of their mind. Mm. Where's that? Where do we see that? Walking in the vanity of their own mind. Where do we see that commonplace? Amen. That's supposed to be the Gentiles. Okay. Having the understanding darkening, being alienated from the life of God through, ig through the ignorance that is in them because of the blindness of their heart. Who being past. I'm helping Jesus. I'm helping somebody today. Who being past feeling. Amen. Hallelujah. Have given themselves over uh, unto lasciviousness, uh, to work of all uncleanness and greediness. I'm not going to dive into those things, but things that are not of God. Again, let's put it all into that. Amen. Let's put it all into that category. We fall into things not of God when we're not doing it the way God said do it. Amen. Hallelujah. But ye have not so learned Christ and how he has divinely set this thing up. If so be that ye have learned, heard him, ye have been taught by him as the truth is in Jesus. That ye put off concerning the former conversation, the old man, which is corrupt according to the deceitful lust and be renewed in the spirit of your mind. That ye put on the new man, which is after God created in righteousness and true holiness. Wherefore, putting away lying, speaking every man truth with his neighbor, for we are members one of another. Be angry, but sin not. Hallelujah. Let not sin go down upon your wrath. Neither give place to the devil. Let him that steal, stole, steal no more. But rather let him labor working with his hands the thing which is good that ye may have to give to him, y'all know I'm going, I got to go, amen, give to him that neither. Let no co corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth, but that which is good to the use of the edifying, that it may minister grace to unto the hearers. And grieve not the Holy Spirit of God, whereby you are sealed it unto the day of redemption. Let, the whole, let it have its way. Don't hinder it, let it. Hallelujah. Let all bitterness and wrath and anger and clamor and evil speaking be put away from you with all malice. Be ye kind one to another, tender hearted, forgiving one another, even as God, for Christ's sake, hath forgiven you. Thank you for coming to this meeting today. Thank you for joining us in this office. Just wanted to uh, do a review of why we are here, why we do what we do what our original purpose is, what our founder of this great office and great company has, amen, set before us. Amen. Mercedes had the, uh, the old model from the founder of the company way back, amen, centuries ago, the best or nothing, amen. In other words, we, we seek to achieve the best, amen, the pinnacle of car making. Why can't we as a believers in Christ Jesus seek the pinnacle of church and worship and praise and oneness and working together as a body of Christ and building up one another? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. In this most holy faith, I come to share with you today. I already shared with you today. 
hallelujah, that God has presented to us, amen, a, a plan and a method to help us in this present world. There's nothing wrong with the church. There's nothing wrong with, hallelujah, what God placed here down on this earth. God is not the author of confusion. God is not divided, but we certainly are. And it's only because we're not doing the will of God and doing it God's way. Heaven is one. is one in righteousness. is one in peace. is one in holiness. Hell is one in darkness and sin and separation from God. What we have on earth is the existence of both influences. The influence of darkness and the influence of light and us trying to live peaceably with both and trying to adjust our lives to keep both. But we got to love one and hate the other, serve one and reject the other. Hallelujah. I choose light. I choose Christ. In him was life and his life was the light of men and his light shined in darkness and his and darkness comprehended it not. I come as an advocate, amen, how to, as a spokesperson for my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. How to, if you're in sin, he'll set you free. If you're sick, he'll heal you. Hallelujah, amen. Hallelujah. If you're bound, he'll deliver you. He'll set you free. If some of the agents, amen, from our amen, opponent, amen, what comes upon you, hallelujah, amen, hallelujah, my God shall supply all your need. He will deliver you and set you free in the name of Jesus. And he did it, amen. He laid it, amen, through the fivefold, amen, through the five officers of the church. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, who represents God's divine order here on earth. But don't look too hard on them. Amen. Lift your eyes until the hills will come to your help. Your help coming from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. There's only one God. We are all servants of the most high God. Oh, we are all servants of, of Satan himself, one or the other. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I just want to call you all into the office today. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Keep us in prayer as I pray for you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Uh, one day I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to go through. Thank you, Sister Faith. She said, take your time, Pastor. I saw this thing on Facebook. That little boy that had this look. Amen. Every time somebody say, uh, take your time, Pastor. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And they looking at him like they crazy. Amen. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. But we need that guy. I, I, this is a good seminar. This is good, like a platform service and to get into all the positions and not just the positions of the fivefold. Amen. Hallelujah. But to get into the positions of how we're here to serve the people. Amen. And perfect them in God. That's what we're here to do. Amen. Uh, when I get to heaven, I'm not saying this arrogantly or facetiously, but I'm telling you, when I get to heaven, amen, I'm going to I'm going to know with a surety that I said what God told me to say. Amen. That I gave what he told me to give my pre some of my preacher friends, some of the people that preach. Amen. Sometimes we, we have conversations. Amen. Hallelujah. And they, they might not agree with this and they don't agree with that. But I said, listen, let me tell you all something. It's time out for the foolishness and fakeness and pretense. People need the real truth. People need deliverance. People need to be set free and they're not going to get it coming from man. Man has never had. Amen. The key to salvation, only the key that Jesus gave Peter and, and, and man didn't have that. Jesus gave it to Peter. Jesus gave it to Peter. Jesus gave it to Peter. Peter didn't go get it. He didn't know it existed like Adam. I didn't know Eve existed. That's why he said, whoa, man, Lord, he came from man. Hallelujah. Bone of my bone, flesh of my flesh. He seen something he'd never seen before. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And so, um, and anyway, I'm about to get in trouble anyway. So, uh, uh, so, so, so Peter get the keys that he never seen before. Amen. So he gave us the key to salvation, key to deliverance. And this is the way God's church is supposed to be set up. Amen. God bless you. Love you in Jesus name.
Amen. But we need to go back into this at some point. I probably will. Amen. Go back into this and have like a class or something on this. Amen. Hallelujah. And so uh, those put in your prayer requests, please. Amen. Praise reports. Amen. Sister Alexis back on. Happy birthday to you, Sister Alexis. Thank God for you. Amen. Your work here. Amen. There and everywhere and what you do for your family and everything. Amen. We thank God for you. Amen. We thank God for everybody. Amen. Hallelujah. Y'all, y'all, y'all talk to you, uh, pastor. So I'm grateful that y'all call and talk to me. Amen. And we have conversations. Amen. So I'm grateful to all of you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Uh, but today's her birthday. So I'm going to say happy birthday. Amen. Wouldn't that be rude? Amen. I see her on here and I don't say happy birthday. That would be rude. Amen. Hallelujah. So, amen. Happy birthday. And I saw Minister um, Pam Eubanks. Amen. And keep their family in prayer and the loss of their family member. Amen. Uh, uh, Dr. Eubanks, his nephew, passed away a while ago. Amen. We want to pray for them as well. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And so, um, and keep the family of God in prayer. Amen. Father, we thank you for this day that you have made. We're going to rejoice and be glad. And we thank you for the people of God. And now that we had this, this office meeting, we have a better understanding of our place and our position. Amen. We as people of God we need to repent and be baptized, every one of us, for the remission of our sins, that we may receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. And after the Holy Ghost, just we listen and do what it says. Lord God, we study to show ourselves approved under God. A workman need not be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. As we dive into your word, as we start our relationship with you, Jesus, Lord God, we find a place, or if we're already in a place that preaches your word and your truth. And Lord God, you've given us leaders. You've given us people to follow. You've given us people to ask questions to. Lord, to cry with, Lord God, hallelujah, Lord God, to, to give our complaints to, Lord God, to have discussions with, Lord God, to hear a word from you that, yeah, we can hear directly from you, God, but you placed the pastors there, amen, to preach the word, the preachers there, to preach the word to us, to give us inspirational word, amen, for our lives, a word of correction, a word of judgment, whatever you say for us, Lord God, we receive it. In the name, as long as it's coming from you, we receive it in the name of Jesus, Lord God. And as we grow in the grace, you might call us to one of those works. And Lord God, as we follow you, Lord God, we'll lead the people, Lord God, and help your people, Lord God. As you ask Peter, uh, do you love me? Feed my sheep. And Lord God, we pray, Lord God, that we love you enough to take care of your children till we leave here or you come back to, amen, uh, resurrect all of us out of this place, Lord God. We thank you. We praise and magnify your holy name. So as your pastor, as a servant, you have called for this day, this moment, this time. Lord God, I pray that you heal everybody listening to the sound of my voice. I pray, Lord God, hallelujah, that you deliver, Lord God, somebody that needs salvation. Receive ye the Holy Ghost, as Peter told Cornelius. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Receive ye the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We speak it. Amen. From the position you've given to us, which all comes from the cross, that one Jesus uh, came five positions to cover the church until he returns. And Lord God, we ask, Lord God, hallelujah, that you bless us, Lord God, and understand our place and our position. That is not about us. It's no more I, but the Christ that is within us that's called us to do this great work. And Lord God, hallelujah, not to put our chest out and get big headed about a position we never, never put in there uh, and we can't take it out. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, that everybody walk worthy in the vocation where we've been called in the name of Jesus, Lord God, and all those that have been called to ministry and know that they're called, Lord God, even those that choose it, Lord God, as a career. Lord God, let them see that it's not a career, it's a calling. And Lord God, bless, touch, and deliver right now in the name of Jesus. Make a way out of nowhere, open doors to seem close. All those in every position, Lord God, give them the tools that they need to be successful, divine tools. Lord God, hallelujah, to be successful, successful, Lord God, in ministry, God, in the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Bless us, touch and deliver these and all blessings we ask in Jesus Christ's name, I pray. Thank you, Lord, hallelujah, amen, 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 and amen. God bless you, family. Amen. Y'all have any questions or comments, you can type it in here. Amen. We are in the broadcast, but you guys can type it in and we can keep the conversation going. Amen.
amen hallelujah amen in the name of jesus i would love to have hear your comments or thoughts on this amen hallelujah and we can we can just further break this it's, it's time for us to position the church where it's supposed to be and, and, and as opposed to where it is amen and y'all see man's thoughts and man's ideas and how how is this working amen hallelujah you got different thoughts and that different uh, listen listen to satan himself you got different ministries different churches different beliefs uh, different practices amen sometimes even within the same building sometimes within the same church you got differences of this this is satan this is the devil himself i mean look at look at the devil hallelujah amen hallelujah hallelujah look at this look at satan himself he got the house of god divided amen but god is not divided i'm so glad that the god that I, ah, thank you lord the god that i serve is not divided hallelujah thank you jesus he's god all by himself hallelujah that's why we need to give jesus our, our heart and our mind our soul amen and start that relationship and please don't join no church that's not preaching jesus christ and him crucified amen that you got to live a holy life amen hallelujah if that pastor is telling you you can have everything every sunday hallelujah you got to get out that church hallelujah amen get out of there and get to somewhere where there's a word of correction sometimes amen where there's a rebuke sometimes hallelujah where there's some judgment sometimes hallelujah thank you jesus well pastor i tell my preachers tell me all the time my friends some friends amen you got to get words of encouragement you can't be how i don't amen but the lord give me a, a inspirational lift everybody amen hallelujah message then i'll give it amen but if he gives me a word of correction I, that's what i'm gonna give i'm gonna give what he say give amen i'm gonna say what he tell me to say hallelujah I'm, I'm not gonna have any kind of recourse any kind of amen go to heaven and say i got i had another one left no i want to lay it all at the table and the late great elder george thompson mother thompson came to me one time amen and she said she said pastor he don't want to read his bible no more he used to read his bible hallelujah i said mother amen he fought a good fight he kept the faith he finished his course amen hallelujah amen hallelujah amen hallelujah and so he it, it was no more need to be fed we're being fed to give hallelujah thank you jesus we're being fed to give amen god bless you i keep trying to stop amen god bless you everybody this is a great subject great topic and it's, it is very it's very uh timely amen for today uh, and has always been amen god bless you love you all in jesus name god bless you have a smile upon you those that want to give to this ministry is friday those that want to give to the ministry amen you're certainly welcome to do so we have cash app paypal you can mail it here much check or money order i'll prefer if you come by yourself amen hallelujah on our sunday mornings at 10 o'clock amen you could do so amen in the name of jesus amen and i thank you if this ministry being a blessing to you yeah, or its servant amen if you're blessed by these ministry and you have amen the, the ability that's what the word of responsibility comes from amen responsibility means i have the ability to respond amen so if you have the resp a responsibility the ability to respond uh please do amen and be a blessing to the church amen in the name of jesus i thank you all amen who have given and blessed the house of god amen agape ca is our cash app and you can give through there amen if you can uh hallelujah and those in need we're praying for you amen just pray for you amen in the name of jesus hallelujah and so uh, we're grateful to the lord for you you and you and you amen again tuesday through friday noonday prayer a wednesday night bible class sunday morning at 10 o'clock is our morning worship service amen when we come together to bless the lord amen uh friday share illusions let me get her link amen here hallelujah in the name of jesus share illusions y'all in the delray area you please go by and see her amen if you're not give her a call and give her words of encouragement amen she's a black woman business owner amen hallelujah author amen she do a lot of things amen so keep her in prayer like her on facebook amen go check out her page on facebook amen leave a comment there a word of encouragement or a poem or something just encourage her amen hallelujah to let her know uh that that you see her sight and everything and, and keep up the good work 
Amen. Let's encourage one another. We'll be, we'll we'll help us one another. You might not be in Mount Vernon area, but you you can you can send a word of encouragement to somebody and help them. Amen. Go on just a little while longer. Amen. God bless you. Love you in Jesus name. Our closing scriptures, first Timothy, first chapter 17, verse now unto the king, eternal, immortal, invisible, the only wise God, be honor and glory forever and ever. Let the church say, amen. Hug somebody. Tell them that you love them. This is the Agape Way. God bless you, family. Love you guys. And I'll see you next time. God bless you. Agape Worldwide Ministries and Pastor Renzo James Fields invite you to come worship with us in Springfield, Virginia. We're located 7240 FNG Boudinot Drive in Springfield, Virginia. Call 703-372-1174. Agape Worldwide Ministries. Real love, real people, real church.